the Nigerian army has admitted that it took life and blank bullets to the Lekito gates in Lagos. Just lovers welcome back to my youtube channel all right so a quick update as it's happening i will be bringing it to you okay so let's dive straight into it it's about the NSAS movement and the brutal killing of innocent protesters at lucky target i just want to bring you this quick update okay so i'll read to you this is from channels news uh, nigerian news um, station channel okay so it says here let's get into it okay the nigerian army has admitted that it took life and blank bullets to the lucky toll gates in lagos the venue where the hashtag NSAS protesters staged a peaceful protest a peaceful demonstration against the police brutality a representative of the army, Brigadier General Ahmed Taiwo, stated this on Saturday when he appeared before the judicial panel for, of inquiries set up by the Lagos state government to look into the allegation of brutality by the disbanded Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SAS, and other issues raised by the Nigerian youths. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? <laughs> we're getting somewhere finally the pressure is working the pressure that is they've been that that has been placed on these people is working they started by saying that they did not deploy army on that on that fateful day it, the army was not there now we're moving from the army was not there and nobody died there were no casualty to yes we went there and yes we went there with blanks and you know they uh, it was it a few days ago they said they went there with only blanks after they presented videos to prove that soldiers military men were deployed to lucky target then they said okay we went there but we went there with only blank bullets now they are saying we went with blanks and life ammunition so slowly the truth will roll in all right guys this will be a very short video i just said i should bring this to you as all the truth comes in slowly i will be bringing it to you because these people you can never trust or believe anything they say it's only when pressure is being placed on them that's when they come out to say a tiny bit of the truth not the whole truth they always like to beat around the bush and play all of this now on saturday one month after is now a whole full month that's when they are accepting that they were present at lucky toll gates that night and that they shot at the innocent protesters let's see where let's let's just see how how far this goes because already in nigeria they've started closing accounts of the innocent protesters you know like the top people that led the protest and spoke about it or people that even supported that didn't come out too much that just supported and said yes the youths are doing good job they've closed their accounts and a lot of them are complaining people cannot feed their family they are seizing people's passport and people are not allowed to travel it's it's like hell but i love the fact that they are coming out to say yes we went there so we shot at people so let us see let us see the excuse they will give to us why they are blocking these people's account why they are closing these people's account why they are why they are taking back people's uh, registered uh, regi uh, registers um, registered businesses they are taking back the names and all of that let us see the excuse they will give to us why they are punishing the masses why they are punishing the youths when they are guilty let us see let us see the truth must prevail answers stop police brutality stop killing the youths that's what the youths are asking for and they will not beg back down united we stand divided we fall we will stand strong and this is a fight that we will not back down all right guys i'm out